Hello everyone, it's me, Traveler Lily, here back with another YouTube video. Um, this time I won't be doing a book review, um, I would be doing a tag this time, my first ever tag on my channel. Um, I know a lot, of, a lot of you guys are used to seeing my um, book reviews, and maybe a couple of my book hauls. Um, I'm probably going to do another book haul soon, with some of my newer books that I got in in the previous months, but for now, I will be doing my first ever tag, which is basically, um, th this tag, hang on, let me start that over, this tag is basically, you might have heard of before on a few, um, other booktubers who are a lot more, um, I would say, well known, um, here on the YouTube committee, not committee, community, um, than I am, who, like, you might have seen, um, this tag video from maybe, um, Clockwork Reader, or from Emma Books, or, or maybe someone else you probably watched, like, maybe, um, Haley in Bookland, or, um, Beauty in the Book, you might have seen their tags, um, here on YouTube, or BookTube, as it's called, for people who love books, it's called BookTube. Um, anyway, like I said, my first ever tag will be the Whip It or Ship It tag. And if you haven't heard of the Whip It or Ship It tag, it's basically where you take characters from different books, um, and put the different um, character names on different pieces of paper, put them into a, like a little cup like this or a mug or whatever you know that you might have and just pick two random characters and you can either ship it or rip it as the name the tag implies so without further ado let's get on with it okay let's see now my first name here at the top of the um Pile is Stella Cambrin from The Creeping. Can't see that. Um, now, let's see who our next character is. Um, <laughs> this is what I just kind of find a little funny. Um, our other person that we're going to either rip it or ship it, ship with Stella from The Creeping, is Jace Herondale. Oh, my screen, sorry guys, my screen went black for a second there. You might have not noticed, but it did. Um, Jace Handel from The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Um, I, I honestly don't know what to make of this one. I mean, Stella from The Creeping, she kind of has a lot of issues due to, um, if you haven't read the book, um, from A Troubled Past, if you... I'm not going to get into further detail because I don't want to spoil it. And then there's Jace, who's kind of sarcastic and all that. If you have read the Mortal Instruments, you probably have. Um, oh no. Not sure if they would make a good match, though. Not sure, because, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Stella's kind of quiet. She's kind of, like, socially awkward. And she kind of panics and freaks out. And doesn't really talk to a lot of guys. And... I don't know. I just don't think her and Jace would go well together, so I would have... And Jace is kind of, you know... Jace. <laughs> to be honest, so... I would definitely have to rip it. So, no. Stella and Jace, just no. Okay, so our next pairing... Well, I guess... Is gonna be... Um, Loose Price from The Fallen series by Lauren, um, Kate, and, and Park, from Eleanor and Park. Oh, oh, okay. Um, this could go either of two ways. I can see them as maybe friends. Most likely just friends, like, I don't know, like, I can just see Park being one of Luz's classmates. 
um, and maybe just an acquaintance of hers rather than like a boyfriend sort of ish. Cause probably like, he's kind of you know um, into the whole like comic book and music thing, and Luce is um, really an angel, and just basically was only is Daniel with like, the Bond series. So I don't know. I can see them more as friends than. Um, Boyfriend, girlfriend, so I'd have to rip it. Um. Okay, who's it gonna be? Our next person is Prince Maxon from the Selection series. And. Oh, it is. Um. Nolan from The Haunting of Sunshine Girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't know what to say about this one. Considering Nolan from The Haunting of Sunshine Girl, he's kind of into the paranormal. He's kind of into that whole looking up the paranormal stuff, and he's kind of, you know, big on that. Prince Maxon, I guess you could say he's into, you know, studying in books and helping the people, just, um, you know, he's caring, just like Nolan is. Um... I don't know. Like, it's hard to say. Like, I can maybe see them being friends, but at the same time, I can't really imagine them being boyfriends, you know? Because, like, I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't feel like their characters would go together-ish, I guess. I don't know. Just, I just don't feel, I just don't feel it. <laughs> okay, I feel like this is not going good. Going to a good start. Three pairings, and we have not shipped anyone so far. We have only ripped three times. So, this is not going so, so far. Um, let's see. Um, we got Mallory Dodge from The Problem with Forever. And... Ow. Writer Stark from Poem Forever. They actually are shipped together and they actually go well together. So. Okay, let's. Let's redo that one. Let's redo that one. That one. That one. Let's redo it. Um, Augustus Waters from the. Fort, nah, not the fight. The Fault in Our Stories. And. Sunshine from the Hunting of Sunshine Girl. Um, I don't know. I don't know about the ship because Augustus Water. Um, oh, sorry, I'm going black for myself again. Um, Augustus Water's kind of you know, if you haven't read the Fallen stories, um, he has cancer and Sunshine doesn't. Um, so I don't really see the ship ship working out. As well as much as I see with any character with cancer, because I mean I know some people do survive, you know, cancer and do live a little bit longer. But at the same time, it's like I don't know. Some people just don't live through cancer, and I don't know. I just don't know if Sunshine would be able to, you know, want to date him. I can see. Sunshine wanting to be friends with them and, you know, wanting to take care of him, you know, until, you know, he pa maybe passes away. Obviously, in helping him, you know, if his ghost is still around, because Sunshine is, if you haven't read The Haunting of Sunshine Girl, um, Sunshine is a Luciche, and she hopes, um, spirits, ghosts, whatever, and she fights, you know, demons, you know, and a lot of you haven't seen, um, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl's YouTube channel. YouTube, then, well, yeah, yeah. It's the most friends. Not fucking girlfriend. Or maybe acquaintances. By the way, don't shoot. Next character. Um, we got Almanzo Wilder from Little House. From Little House series. Um, then. 
You got it. James from the Confession series. Oh jeez. Um. Oh no. I just don't know because, like in Confession series, we don't really learn a whole lot about James's character. Um. The books are no more, so I don't know. Like he's a farmer. James comes from a rich family, and um, I just don't see them together. I just don't see them probably together because James's father in the Confession series is kind of not a very nice guy, and he's kind of you know just one of those stuck up people. So I just don't see. Him. And plus, Amonto is way older than James, so don't see that happening. So yeah. So far it's not going well. We have like zero ships and maybe five to eight rips. So yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully we'll get a ship this time, guys. Um, we got Damon from Vampire. Oh, um, sorry, my screen went black on myself again. Damon from Vampire Diaries. And. Magnus Vane from Mortal Instruments. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay. This is an interesting pairing. Because if you haven't read the book Vampire Diaries, um, or the Mortal Instruments, then you probably don't know what Damon or Magnus Vane are like. <laughs> Whatsoever. Um, but... Um, if you haven't seen the TV show, um, Vampire Diaries, or the TV, TV show Shadowhunters, then you definitely need to watch them, or definitely read the books of the respected series. Um, I don't know, I definitely see them being paired together, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. I do. I do. I don't know. Something about Magnus being with Damon just, I don't know, just seems to work. I think their personalities work really well. They're both, I guess you could say, like, sassy, I guess, in a way. So I definitely, I definitely ship these. Um, even though Damon is considered, you know, you know your typical bad boy and all that, um, like Magnus is just, you know, really into the whole glitter and being a flamboyant kind of guy. I can definitely see this two together, so I, I ship it. <laughs> I ship it. Fair ship, guys. <laughs> um. Okay, um. The next one is Christian Ozera from Vampire Academy. And our... Next person is Hey Potter from the Hey Potter series. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, Christian, he's kind of a loner. He doesn't really have any friends. Um, I guess. Hey, Harry Potter and Christian Ozera both have the whole fact that their parents are both dead, and they end up, I guess, in some way, having a new family of sorts for themselves. And Harry, obviously, you know, is a, obviously is the hero, respectively, of his series. You could say Christian Ozera, I guess, in a way, is a hero. I don't know. I don't think Harry would really talk to Christian. I don't think at all. I think I think you just I think Harry would just regard Christian I think more as a classmate, a schoolmate, whatever, than really a friend or a boyfriend of that sort. I don't yeah, to be honest I don't think they would talk, so a bit just a little bit. I don't think they would be together. I think I think they would talk very little to each other whatsoever. So yeah. Our next pairing is Simon Lewis from the Mortal Instruments. 
And Jared from the host. Oh. Well, okay. Oh no. Oh no. I mean. Hmm. This one's very interesting. Just because, like, the f I mean, they're around the same age. Um, but. Um. Oh no. Like, Jared, I mean, he's hardworking and he's kind of, you know. I don't know. Just. I don't know, I don't know how people try to say it, because I vaguely remember reading the house, but... <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know if they would get along so well, I don't know. Maybe, I guess, but... I don't know, I think they would work more as acquaintances, I think, or friends-ish. I guess, ish. But, definitely, I don't know. Um... Definitely with it. Um, next one is oh, blank screen for myself again. Um, next one is Sam. Um, Sam, the boy, boy, um, like one of our main boy characters from the Creeping. And just make sure you know I'm actually following around. Um. Mallory Dodge from the Problem with Forever. I can never see them being together just just because of the fact that Sam really cares about people and he wants to help and he, you know, in a way still wants to be friends with people even though in the book The Creeping, um, Stella doesn't I don't know if he's friends with them anymore, but he still wants to be and all that. And so I can kind of see them being together, obviously, and Mallory slowly opening up to him and him just being there for her and her just, you know, slowly is starting to, you know, be there for him and all that. So I definitely ship these two. Definitely ship these two. So yeah, got two shippings and well, a whole bunch of, you know, rips. So. Yeah, okay. Um, got Clary Frey from the Modern Smiths, and Ryder Stark from the Problem with Fever. Okay, um, I don't know. I mean, they're both artists, so I guess they have that in common. Um, I don't know, I mean, Ryder, he, he kind of has a troubled past, you know, and, I don't know. I don't know if Clay would actually go for a guy like Ryder. Um, I can never see Clay kind of trying to get him to be motivated to do stuff, like, trying to push him a little to, you know, be more motivated to do stuff, like, with his schoolwork, like, to, you know, go off to college and... Even though Ryder doesn't go off to college, I can kind of, um, see her kind of, you know, um, just, yeah, just be more, a little more motivated, you know, stuff. I can see Ryder, you know, trying to tell her, yeah, she's beautiful, and to show her, I don't know, the unique beauty of stuff or whatever, and, you know, just, you know, I can see Ryder trying to make it fun Clary, because Clary, in a way, I guess, is a little... Um, stuck up, in my opinion. Oh, sorry for all you know, Clary fans. I don't know. I just feel like Clary's a little stuck up. And Ryder's kind of like that whole loose, um, carefree kind of guy. So I definitely, um, I don't know. I could definitely maybe see them as friends, but maybe they could work as boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't know. I mean, they could, I guess. Um,. So yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely gonna ship it. I'm definitely gonna ship it, just because we don't have that many ships compared to rips. So I'm definitely gonna ship it. Um, and everything I said before about playing in later, but anyway. Um, we got Lissa from Vampire Academy.
and Jenny from Jenny Weasley from Hey Potter Series. Huh. Well, they're definitely on the same age. Um. Actually, no, they're not. Actually, no, they're on the same age. I mean, I guess you could if you did the whole time skipping this up. But, um. I don't know. Um. I don't know. We've and like I don't. I haven't read the book, so I don't know how much of Jenny we get to um see. How much I guess. How much you guys probably see Jenny within the books. I know within the movies, you didn't really get to see much of Jenny until later on in the movies, but, um, Alyssa, I don't know, is she, I mean, they're both caring, they're both caring, uh, not caring, caring about people, um, and stuff, and, you know, they're both, you know, I guess, really positive people, and, I don't know. I can maybe see them as friends, but definitely not like romantic relationship material. So with it, um, um, Alec Lightwood from the Mortal Instruments, and. America Singer from the Selection Series. Huh. I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, at first with Alec, he's kind of like a little uptight and he's kind of like in the closet about what his feelings are and he kind of sticks to, you know, the rules and he's like the complete opposite of Jace if you have the if you have read the moment from the series and you know. America Singer, I don't know, she's kind of wild and she's kind of you know, a little rebellious, and she kind of, you know, speaks her mind and all that. Um, oh, blank screen for me again. Not, um, well, it kind of goes, not blank, but like black me occasionally, but if I have not used any of it, so sorry. I keep saying that. Um, anyway, yeah, she kind of speaks her mind. She's kind of, like I said, a little reckless, kind of like Jace. Um, but at the same time, she's a good person. Um, as well, like Alec, and both of them care about people, um, both of them want to, you know, help people and look after people and stuff like that, so I can definitely see them together, and I definitely, I think, they would be good together as boyfriend and girlfriend, including being friends, so I definitely ship these. Ship these. Next pairing is Tandy Angel from the Confession series. Um, and Isabel Lightwood from the Mobile Instruments. Okay, before I go into this pairing, um, we might sing a lot of Mobile Instruments characters because I put in a lot of Mobile Instruments characters, so that's why. Um, so yeah, Isabel Lightwood and Tandy Angel. Oh no, it's interesting. I mean. I can definitely see these two being a good combination duo, especially with Candy's um, detective skills, you know, the way she can solve um, mystery cases and all that, and Isabel's fighting skills, you know, with her rip, and all that, and both, and both how they care about people, and both, and especially if you read both series, um, and stuff, and you know how both of them are, they might actually make a good combo. Like, I definitely can see them being a good combo, like being friends and all that. I can definitely, I don't know, maybe seeing, see it awesome to something more. Maybe, I guess. So, definitely should it. Um, let's see what our last few pairings are, guys. Um, we got Daniel from Fallen. Um, and, let's see, and Melanie Strider from The Host. Oh, this is interesting. I don't know, I just don't know how I feel about this 
pairing, to be honest. I don't know. Like, I don't know. But honestly, I feel like Melanie would yell at Daniel for keeping way too many secrets from her, you know, if they were only in a relationship, just because Daniel keeps a lot of them and he doesn't really reveal a lot of stuff. He kind of keeps it to himself and he's kind of mysterious. If you have read the Fallen series, and Melanie's kind of like, I, I want to survive, I want to, you know, be able to live a peaceful life. You know, I want to, you know, just be myself and, you know, not have any secrets and she's kind of protective, kind of like Daniel and stuff, and so, oh no, I just don't know how I feel about it. I don't think they would really suit each other as much as I think other characters would, so, I don't know, I don't think they would really work well together at all, so, with it. Um, okay, we've come, almost there, guys, almost done. Um, we got... Elena from Vampire Diaries and Laura Wilder from Little House series. Oh jeez, um, I don't know. Um, Elena, she's kind of you know out there. She kind of likes to party. She's kind of you know general. She's kind of you know um, I guess um a little withdrawn due to the death of her parents from the TV show. Laura, she's hard working. Um, she's responsible. Um, I would definitely say well-grounded. That's for sure. Um, I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about Elena being with Laura. <laughs> to be honest, just because I don't know, Elena, she's kind of, you know, rec reckless like any teenager. Laura, you know, obviously was is responsible and more and definitely I think out of this pairing Laura would be I think more of the mature one um, out of the two than I think Elena because Elena would definitely be out there she'd definitely be reckless she I can see definitely you know I'm kidding Elena would definitely I think would be getting maybe um, Laura and her into trouble a lot, but I think at the same time, Laura would also try to help Elena be a little more responsible and a little more mature. Um, at the same time, so I definitely think they would be not only good as, good as friends, but as a couple. So yeah, and I definitely think Elena would help Laura relax and loosen up and have fun be a little more, you know, and be a little more comfortable in a body and a looks as well. So yeah. The last pairing guys is Hazel Grace from the Fault in Our Stories and Illinois from Illinois Park. Huh. I don't know. Hazel Grace, I mean she's smart. Um and all that and she's kinda, you know, I don't know, she's kinda I think she's got Halo Grace, like, she's ready, I mean, she, you can, I think, from what I remember from Fallen Out Stories, she's ready to, like, die, and she can accept the fact that she's gonna die and all that, but at the same time, Eleanor, I don't know, I don't know, like, I don't know, she's kinda, you know, um, she's not comfortable with the look, she's not, you know, both of them kinda insecure, insecure and stuff, but, you know, like, it's just... I don't know. I can see them being good friends. That's for sure. I can see. I can see them maybe being good friends or acquaintances. That's cool. You know, even though Hazel Grace has cancer, I can see them being friends. Though, so definitely more as friends than um, girlfriends. Like you know, romantically girlfriends. So yeah, I can definitely see them as good friends. So rather than. Um, romantic girlfriend wise, um, because they both like to read and stuff, and so I, like I can see them being more as good friends than anything else. So definitely that. Um, so yeah, that was my whipper or shipper tag. Um, it was quite interesting, considering the fact that we had some interesting pairings and we had definitely a lot of rips. Um. 
in that regard. Um, it was definitely quite an interesting experience, especially for my first tag. Um, but it wouldn't be a complete tag without me tagging people. So um, I definitely think I would tag if these people will ever see my videos. Um, they probably won't, but I will tag Haley and Bookland. Um, yeah, I tag Haley and Bookland. Um, a thousand books to read. Um, Clockwork Reader. Um, Emma Books. And Michael Bookline. So I tag all those guys, all those people, to do the vapor or ship, ship it tag again. I know. I know they've done it a few times. Obviously, from the um, watching their videos, and I will also ship um, Be Beauty and the Book as well. Um, so I know the likelihood of them ever seeing this video or any of my video other videos for that regard is not very likely, unless. I don't know, I've become well, more well known on YouTube, who knows. Um, but yeah, I tag those six people to do the Whip It or Ship It book tag. Um, so yeah, um, it was fun. I really enjoyed doing my first ever book tag here on YouTube. Um, I think it was definitely, like I said, interesting because um, I never did a book tag before as a lot of you guys may have noticed um, that I do a lot more book reviews than I do book hauls and I never did a tag before obviously like it's the beginning of video it's my first ever tag so yeah um, I definitely think I would do more tags in the future hopefully and I know I'm probably gonna do a another book haul soon probably with some of the new books I got um, a while ago um so yeah and I will definitely try to find another book to review here on booktube if I can now and stuff and so I'll keep posting videos and we'll try to keep posting videos because I know school has started for a lot of people out there um already and definitely um I know people are starting school um this upcoming, you know, week, and the following, you know, upcoming week, and the week after. I'm definitely starting school on August 21st. Um, so yeah, so I know a lot of people will be busy trying to, you know, pass their classes, and for seniors graduating high school or college, you know, that's always a big deal, you know, obviously, trying to graduate and stuff. I can definitely relate to graduating from high school. Um, it's always a big deal because you're trying to pass your classes, and if you ever are doing the senior project at your high school, then that's a big deal as well. I know I had, I know I had to do a senior, pro a senior project in high school, so, yeah, big deal. Starting school, um, I know I've gone on for like two minutes talking about the end of this, but I will see you guys next time in the next video, hopefully, when I have the time, and... Yeah, I'll see you guys next time, whenever that is, you know, so, see you guys next time, bye guys.